Good morning. It is the seventh and final day of a week on Morrison's M Sabers, and I've got to say, I'm a little bit sad to be to be finishing this week because overall it's been all right, but also I'm a little bit happy because I get to eat fresh fruit and veg again, and there there will no longer be any worry of me getting scurvy. That's right, the maritime disease that hasn't been seen for a century. Grace has already fed a certain little house panther this morning, so uh, hence why he's not greeting me by screaming while I do my introduction. Now he doesn't know where to look, he's being awkward because I'm sitting here <laughs> with it. Oh, I've disturbed you again! So I suppose it's only fair and right and good for if on the final breakfast of the week I have some bran flakes, but instead of UHT sweetened soya milk I crack out the UHT unsweetened soya milk Supoib I'm delaying having this one because I think it's going to be even worse than the sweetened one <laughs> okay let's do some sexy pouring how's about that then Brown flakes with sweetened, sorry, unsweetened soy milk. I don't even know what I'm having anymore. Let's try it and make sure we've got loads of milk in there. Hmm. I think I actually prefer that. Let's try a bit of the... Yep. It's incredibly bland, so all the flavours coming from the cereal itself. However, it's not the sweetest thing in the world. I don't feel like my teeth are all about to fall out. So I would take that. And if you had a sweet cereal like Frosties or Cocoa Pop, something like that, then it's going to do the trick. Okay. I'm not going to go as far as saying I like that, because it is, it is bland on its own. But it's worth putting in cereal. Oh. Well, with breakfast all done, I'm just setting up to do an episode of infomercialism. You know, it's a serious business when I've got a second camera on my phone set up. So yes, I'm going to crack on at filming that, see if you can guess which one it is. And um, yeah, and then I'll probably collapse because this is going to be a long one. Well, that's the majority of my infomercialism filmed. Uh, the little fuzzy is currently doing his thing in there. Hopefully it doesn't destroy things. Couldn't bear with destroying an oven and a washing machine in the same week. So yeah, fingers crossed, hold on to your butts and stuff. But hopefully you'll have seen this episode already. I plan on releasing it before this week on. So, <laughs> so we'll see. Go, go watch it. Hopefully it's not destroyed the washing machine. So while I wait for the washing machine to finish, I'm just going to part bake another baguette. I still have one more pack, amazingly. I didn't expect to, um, but I guess then I didn't expect to get that loaf of bread, did I, from Morrison's. So, yeah, I'm going to part bake this bad boy so I can uh, make something for lunch. So let's get it in. And I kind of want to hit someone with it. Hmm. Bread. Some cheese. What's that going to make? Oh, I only think... One of the most epic cheese on toasts ever. Ever. I mean, to be fair, I was going to use a third kind of cheese. Grilling cheese. But then, on closer inspection, inspection even, <laughs> this is clearly Morrison's M Savers version of halloumi. So I am going to crack that out and give it a bit of a, a grill, shall we say. Um, yes. So uh, I'm going to test out in, and see if it's any good. I'm hoping it's going to be salty and squeaky. But in the meantime, I'm going to get this bad boy just in the oven just to goo up nice and slowly. But then I'm going to try my grilling cheese as well. So we shall see. Hold on to your butts. I'm saying that a lot. I just really want you to hold your butt. Yeah, this is definitely a big old slab of knockoff halloumi. You can see there, oh, quite uh, quite fragile halloumi. <laughs> so I'm going to cut off a few uh, slices and we'll get them grilled up. 
Okay. Let us try our grilling cheese on the grill pan. One more for good luck. Why the hell not? So I'll grill this up for a few minutes and we'll see how it looks. Please be good because halloumi is delicious. By the way, this is starting to look incredible. I've got to say, this is the most bizarre smelling halloumi knockoff grilling cheese I've ever smelled. It smells, it's almost like a urine smell coming off. Ugh. I mean, it's looking good. Looking very good. Yeah, but that smell. I'm not sure about that smell. Ugh. Well, it looks the part anyway. It smells. Got the texture. It's very salty. It doesn't taste like it smells. Thank God for that. That's <laughs> really nice. It's not as nice as halloumi. It's incredibly squeaky. It's like chewing a deflated balloon. Can you hear that? It's weird. It's very salty, which means it's very nice. <laughs> yeah. Just don't smell it while it's cooking and you'll be fine. But now, if you don't mind, I've got my ultimate cheese on toast. I hope it's nice too. Oh my god. Oh, you can already hear how nice this sounds. And now you can see how good it looks. Yeah, mozzarella, cheddar, part baked, although now completely baked, baguette. Fortunately, this one seems to have tipped over, so a lot of the cheese has come off, but we'll, we'll ignore that and we'll just concentrate on this one. Ho ho ho. Please cool down so you're not thermonuclear so I can have a taste. As much as I want to go absolutely crazy and eat all of it, I'm going to stick to this portion for now. We'll see how this fills me up. <laughs> this looks and smells so good. I don't care that food gets this reaction at me. Oh! Oozy, gooey, cheesy, crispy. You know what? The only thing that would have made this better? A bit of like marinara sauce, a bit of pizza sauce just on there first. Make a French bread pizza. Oh, that's some good cheese on toast. Who am I kidding? Of course I'm going to eat the other one. So I am done filming for the day. Filmed a couple of sort of randomish, reviewy type videos. And also I finished infomercialism. Good news, didn't wreck the tumble dryer. But I did make this guy. Look at him. How freaking adorable is that with his little goatee beard thing. And doesn't look at all like private parts. Um, I could trim off those bits, but you know what? gives him character. Uh, he's still a little bit damp, so I'm going to have to just let him sit and air dry the rest of the time. But he's cool. He's cute. So I'm going to like relax a little bit for a couple of hours. Then Grace and I are going to hit the gym, I think. Uh, but well, actually, you know what? Before that, I think I've earned a bit of a treat. And here is my treat. Eight assorted fruit flavour lollies. Notice how it says fruit flavour lollies, not fruit lollies, which suggests there are no fruit in here whatsoever. So this was 65 pence, and it works out at less than 8 pence per lolly, which is uh, pretty bloody good. Actually, where are the stats? I want to see just how much sugar is in these things. Per lolly, uh, blah blah blah, how much fat, 0.1, quite a lot of sugar, blah blah, 6%, so best not eat all eight, eh? 6% eh? of my daily allowance. What do I get? Oh, I'm going to have a nice, I'm going to have a nice red one. Not very big, and this is 6%. Cool, tons of flavour in there though, like 
really strong strawberry flavour. That's really good, and I'm not going to do that gesture again, because otherwise people are going to Photoshop things. Basil's not impressed. No, I said I'm not going to. This is nice, by the way. I think I've earned it. I love it sideways. It's worse. Whew, that was a tiring workout. I have certainly worked up a hunger. And Grace is here now. Yes, I'm here. Hello. So, uh, yes, with this, it's no <laughs> surprise, really, what I'm going to have. Some more chicken. Some dried herbs, which we've priced up before. And some pasta sauce. Look at that inspiring packaging. <laughs> Four, four does this was 40p? 40p for that. 40p for this. And as tends to be the way with value supermarket ranges, spaghetti, 20 pence. So we're going to magic something up. And that's the next thing you're going to see because Sue wants to see all the same stuff cooking as I usually cook. <laughs> Ding! And as if by magic, here is the final meal. My spaghetti with pasta sauce and chicken. And to be fair, it smells really good. Yeah, it does smell good. Uh, I think that even took you aback at how nice that smelled. Yeah. But that's not all. Oh no. We do also have grated Italian style hard cheese. One pound twenty eight for this and I assume Yeah, it stinks like like a stinky like cheese uh, <laughs> Parmesan inspired cheese would. So So this is kind of essentially whoops. chicken parm, isn't it? But just not Without with the, the well, fried okay, so breadcrumb thing. It's coming out in chunks, which is not ideal. So let, let's try it. Let's try it. I'm excited to try it. I'm never going to be able to get this pasta on it. Oh, yeah. I assume it's all over me. No. That is amazing. The sauce is a tiny bit bland. But only a tiny bit, like if you bogged it up with some of the other stuff, which we didn't actually do. Threw in some garlic maybe, and some more of those herbs. That would be cracking, but as it is, it's kind of bland. Um, just to add, we didn't put the extra mixed herbs in because it looked like it was really mm. herby. Do you want to try a little bit? Yeah, go on then. Oh, nice. wow. I don't think that's bland at all. It's quite sweet. And a little bit salty. I just, that's all, yeah, all I'm getting is the salt. Really tomatoey. It's lovely, so, really nice. I don't, I'm not so sure about the cheese. I don't think the cheese really brings anything to it. Well, we shall have to agree to disagree. But I'm going to enjoy it anyway, because it is nice. It's just, it could be nicer, is all. No, never going to get the lighting right in this room. Not with that behind me anyway. So that was day seven of a week on Morrison's M Savers. And today was, yeah, I would say it was a good day. Bran flakes with the unsweetened soya was an improvement on sweetened soya. Then my lunch was cheese on toast, which was very, very nice. But I kind of, it felt like a French bread pizza without the tomato. So it wasn't quite there, but it was really nice. And then dinner was excellent. I mean, like, yeah, Grace and I are going to have to agree to disagree with that one. Because it was nice, but it, it felt like, I don't know, there wasn't uh, much depth to the sauce. But it was okay. I'm not complaining about it by any stretch of the imag imagination. It was nice. It just wasn't as nice as maybe it could have been. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to celebrate a week well done with a nice Morrison's M. Seavers beer. Comes in a pack of four, works out at 22 and a half pence for a single beer. Cheers. And much like the pasta sauce, there is not much flavour to be had. But what flavour is there is fine. I would quite happily drink that, to be honest, and it's only 2% lager, 2% uh, alcohol, so smashing. Super smashing great. So, um, as is customary with these week ons, before I do the final conclusion, I must sleep, then wake up and do the weigh in to see how much I may have lost or gained eating nothing but Morrison's M Savers products this week. What do I predict? I predict a gain in weight. And because of a while I've not eaten tons of food, 
is a lot of carbs, a lot of salt. So I feel like water weight is on the horizon. But there we go. It was a good day. Let's see what the scales have to say for themselves. So 13.4.6 was the start weight. What's a week on Morrison Sem Savers done? 13.5.4. So that's almost one pound. Um, Okie dokie. So that was a week on Morrison's M Savers. And I can't say I'm surprised at the almost a pound weight gain. Considering the things I've eaten this week. So much carbs. So many carbs? So much carbs? I don't know. Anyway, I've had a lot of carbs. I've also had a lot of sugary stuff. A lot of, like, sweets. I've had beer. Uh, pizza. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of stuff that you probably shouldn't have consistently over the course of a week. Um, but that obviously brings me on to the fact that Morrison's M Savers, there is a distinct lack of anything fresh, really, at least from what I found. Nothing at all on the website. And uh, I didn't see a great deal in the store. I saw Coke, I, you know, cola. I saw bread. I saw things that are going to fill you up and taste nice, but aren't necessarily going to be good for you. But they kept me happy throughout the week anyway. And it was a budget week, but was it really? It wasn't particularly cheap. I mean, my initial shop on the, the web store was hefty enough. And then I went out and spent another like seven pounds on the things that I thought they actually didn't do. But, you know, eggs, cola, bread, pasta, they actually do do it. Um, but for some reason, it's not on the website. So I would, I don't, I would, I would still really like to know why that's the case because it doesn't show at all. It's not like it's specific to my store. It just doesn't show on the Morrison store overall. So, yeah, I don't know what their game plan is, but obviously it makes sense for them. It encourages people to go in store or something, I suppose. But so uh, yeah, overall the quality of the food has been excellent. I've, there's been some meals that I that has just beaten all other meals this week and has kept me happy boy. Like overnight oats, the pizza was very nice, the cheese on toast, the part baked baguettes are incredible. The, the, yeah, there's a lot to, to really, really love about Morrison's M Savers, but there are a few things in there that you shouldn't love and you should put up for adoption or something, I don't know. But basically, like the ready meals, the... The, the mac and cheese was just dreadful. <laughs> I've never tasted a worse ready meal. Gross. Do not recommend. Pleh. On the other hand, the milk chocolate for 30 pence is incredible. And I urge you all to go out and try it. See if I'm just weird with my weird taste. I mean, I like cheap chocolate, as you all know if you've seen this show before. But it's so good. It's so good. Kept me happy. Happy Mike. Happy Mike equals, well, probably quite a bad video, really, because you all like to see me really upset. So maybe I'll do a week on Morrison's M Savers mac and cheese. Hell no. No, no. No. Today, I'm going to go and enjoy some fresh vegetables. No more canned stuff. Nothing frozen. Fresh vegetables. And I'm going to enjoy them. Do you like some fresh veg? So thanks very much for tuning in for my week on eating nothing but Morrison's M Savers. It's been a very good week. I've enjoyed it. I hope you have too. If you'd like to see more from me and more from the channel, you can support the show on Patreon. It really does help for me to keep the channel going and to keep doing these weeks. And also, you can just subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, sing the theme tune. Or you can follow me on social media. My book, Viral, is currently uh, like under a tenner on, on Amazon, or it's a pound or a dollar equivalent on ebook it's all good it's a really good book i enjoy it well, i often think it's good anyway but there we go thanks for tuning in and i shall hopefully see you for the next one i'm off to go and get some veg